And hello and welcome back to our one class live stream. Again, my name is Joey. I'm going to be your math teacher for this session. If you're new to one class or you're just checking us out for the first time, thank you so much for watching. A little bit about one class before we start today's session. One class is kind of like um, an online resource uh, program for students uh, such as yourselves that you might be tuning in from home or from your devices anywhere in the world. What we're doing and what we're providing here at One Class is we're providing online resources and live streams and videos for students at home in subjects such as in secondary level math and secondary level chemistry as well. So what we're doing here in the session or what I'll be doing here in the session is that I'm going to kind of go over some frequently asked questions in these subjects. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to verify those solutions with you. So I'll teach you how to do the questions in itself and I'll analyze the solutions while we do that. And then um, we will, I'll kind of go over the concept of what we are doing um, behind the question as well. So without further ado, uh, let's get started um, on our uh, video for today and our sessions for today. So this, um, these 10 questions are going to be um, kind of, these 10 questions were kind of uh, used uh, in or kind of adhere to the grade nine algebra, grade nine geometry, and algebra one type of questions. So it's kind of any any um, questions that you frequently see in grade, uh, grade eight or grade nine math here. All right, let's get started then. Okay, so we have here, uh, it says our first question today says write 4.8 as a fraction. So let me just write that down for us here. I have to refresh the page. Here we go. I'll wait for my pen to kind of activate here. There we go. Okay. So it says here. Oh no. Where'd it go? There we go. This is right. 4.8 as a fraction. So this is kind of our first, uh, for, for first, first question here. So it's write four point eight as a fraction. So we're converting from basically uh, this here is a decimal, because as you can see, we have a decimal point on here, and we are going to convert basically from a decimal, decimal to fraction. To a fraction. So basically, we're going to convert a decimal to a fraction. How do we do that first? So if I'm given 4.8 as my decimal, I have here 4.8 as my decimal. I could rewrite this as a mixed fraction first, right? And how I would do that is I would, um, I have basically the whole part of the decimal. So this uh, left part here is the whole part. So I can say this will be a whole number. And then anything after the decimal here is the um, is the decimal part or the fraction part. So it's the decimal part here. So if I were to write this in a mixed fraction, if I want to convert this into something called a, a mixed fraction here, I would have two parts. I would have the whole part of the fraction and I would have the fraction part, right? So the whole part is obviously this number four, right? whatever is to the left of the decimal place. So I would say here, I would write four, four here. And then the decimal point, it, the decimal part will, is going to be become our new fraction part, right? It's gonna become our new fraction part. So if it, I have 0.8 in this case here, I know a decimal here in the first digit here is the 10th or the 10s tens digit, right, or the tens place, right? So if I know it's a tens place, then 0.8 would simply just be eight over 10, right? Eight over 10 would be our, our the equivalent uh, fraction for 0.8 here. So I'm gonna write here four and eight, four and eight over 10. And this here is our mixed fraction for our, uh, for 4.8. And what we can do is we can actually convert now between this mixed fraction here, we can convert it to a improper fraction. So in order for us to do that, so if I want to convert into something called an improper fraction, uh, so what I would have to do 
in terms of improper fraction is I would basically take my mixed fraction here. I would take my whole part and I would multiply it by the denominator and add it to the numerator. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to have my 4 here. I'm going to multiply it by 10. <coughs> Sorry about that. Uh, so I'm going to multiply it by 10 and then I'm going to add it by 8 here. I think I'm good. <coughs> okay, sorry about that. So again, I have my whole number part here and I'm going to multiply it by the denominator. So it's gonna be four times 10 here and I'm gonna add it, take that number and add it to the numerator. So four times 10 plus eight, right? So four times 10 and I'm gonna add it to the numerator here. So if I have four times 10 here, I have 40. And 40 plus 8 is 48, right? So this would be 48 here in the numerator. In terms of our new numerator. And then it's obviously, we keep the same denominator. So it'd be over 10 still here. And what we could do is we can actually reduce this. We can reduce this fraction, right? We want it to always be the lowest terms and whatnot. So if I were, were to reduce 48 over 10 here, I would have to pick a, pick a, uh, I would have to basically pick the greatest common factor between the numerator and the denominator. So in this case, I would probably pick two first uh, because I'd have both my, both my numbers are even, right? So if I divide by two in the numerator, divide by two in the denominator, here, this is going to equal 40 divided by two here is 24. And then finally 10 divided by two here is eight, right? So in total, my final answer will be this number here. 24 over 5 here is 4.5 as a fraction. So uh, this question was good here. They, uh, they divided it. They, um, they figured this out by using uh, by, by, by uh, kind of the same method as we did, but they didn't go through the mixed fractions into the improper fraction. They just left it at 48 over 10 and they didn't reduce it by the uh, by in lowest terms here. So I'm going to say here this is the correct solution in analysis. However, I forgot to reduce to lowest terms. So I'm going to say here 48 over 10 equals 24 over 5. So uh, the solution here is correct. Uh, it's not fully correct because they didn't reduce it to lowest terms, but I think for this, for the purposes of this uh, of this question, I think it was I think it was okay for this question here. So the solution here is correct. <laughs>